Hey everyone, welcome back to Be Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. Well, bright and early today, 9.30 to be exact, the EB Relays track and field meet over at Biggest Hill College began in earnest. It's a cool meet because you get some of those distance medley relays you normally don't get. Plus, it was a good chance to see some of the top field event competitors in Kern County going at it. They're also the top field event competitors in the state of California. Let's check out the highlights. In the second event of the day, while it's still kind of chilly in the morning, that's uh, UCLA bound Stockdale Senior Marcus Moda in the one mile varsity race. Along with him are said Adus and Brian Gaxiola and Gerardo Moreno and you had Alex Cuevas from Ridgeview in the field, but Moda was the king today. Still seeking his first state medal, and he may get it in the 1600, 3200 this year, and he looked very good today here in the one-mile race, which is a historic race, especially for Memorial Stadium, knowing that Jim Ryan broke the four-minute barrier a few years uh, back in the 1970s. Motor ran in a 425-59, very solid race. Liberty sophomore Faith Bender here in the shot put, 45 feet even. Great throw, one inch off of her PR. And then she also threw 154-4 in the discus, number two mark in the state thus far. Her teammate, Daniel Viveros, the state champ in the shot put last year, here throws 169-5 in the discus. Good for eighth in the state. And his throw is 63, eight feet and a quarter in the shot put is his season best and number two in the state. And then finally, Likely leaving the best for last, Liberty sophomore Reese Renz. You've seen Morgan Hill, you've seen Aaliyah Wilson. Well, here's Reese Renz in the 100 sprint hurdles. Hand time, 1440. If that held, it would be a PR and would be number one in the state. She's already number one in the state and number eighth in the U.S. Great showing for Renz. Baseball action today, Fresno Buller defeats Frontier 2-1, to one, first loss of the season for the Titans. To Hatchby on the road in Stockdale, big win over the Mustangs, 5-4 to four in non-league play. And Foothill defeated Kern Valley 10-2. to two. In softball action, Clovis victorious 9-4 to four over Centennial in six innings before darkness ended this one. And BCHS beat West 15 to nothing in softball action in the North Tournament. And don't forget, tomorrow is a huge day for locals in the state playoffs in the CIS SoCal Regional semifinals of Division Three girls basketball. Number one, McFarland is at home at 6 o'clock against San Diego Sarah. You won't want to miss that one. If you're in town, head over to Foothill at 6 o'clock. The Trojans, the number one seed in D5 in the semifinals, taking on number four, Santa Clara out of Oxnard. And then before both of those start, at 4 p.m., Garces is in the SoCal Regional D5 Boys Soccer Championship match at home against Marshall out of Pasadena. This is the first SoCal Regional Championship play, game played in Kern County, and the Rams are seeking to become just the second team to win a SoCal title since they started it back in 08 when South won the D2 title in 2016. That's all we have for you guys tonight. Tomorrow we'll have highlights from that Garces game plus the Foothill game and boys basketball. You won't want to miss those on a special Saturday night edition of B Varsity Nightly. Until then, I'm Trevor Horn. You guys have a great one. Bye-bye.